part two, but I doubt it. I doubt the insectoids. Well, who knows? Maybe they do eat flesh instead of, you know, we're, we're, I'm, I'm just guessing at that point in, in a way, but, um, hey, they could, they could. Sorry, I'm like close. I should be like at least right here. So, um, I drew a few, well, I really don't have to show you that to be honest. It's just pictures of, of a comparison of, sorry, me yawning, of a comparison of, um, the Dragon Ball Z characters as what, you know, what they are, um, what they really are, basically. So, and some people see it, some people might not. Um, it took me a while to figure out what the fuck was Frieza, but thinking about it more as a Draco, and it's like, that actually makes sense more than anything, you know? And when I looked at Cell, obviously it was quite obvious Cell was an insectoid. And we saw, again, we saw creatures like that, and we fought creatures like that. We have a big, deep history with, with those um, species, guys. We have no like, fucking idea. It goes way back. Way back. It goes way back. And, um, in the gins, basically, the gins, we, 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 we've heard about the gins before. The gins are really, I'm not saying all of them are probably, you know, I'm not saying all of them are, are evil and shit, because you know how some people are, oh, gin, everything's evil and shit. Um, it's almost like saying demon and shit, and even if you just, even, even, even if you try to discuss demon or gin to somebody, like good or bad, People just want to hypothetically want to jump on a bad rank, you know, of being just bad instead of getting down to the critical thinking of being true. Is it is some all bad or good? Just like anything else. Right. Is it? And most people are like, no. And I'll be like, well, then there's probably evil everywhere and there's nothing good. Right. Right. So you're not a good person. You're a piece of shit. Right. Do you do what these motherfuckers do to this planet? No? Okay, then. <laughs> yeah? So, because these people think that they don't deserve what, what's happening, what, what's going to happen soon. And I'm just like, no, you were meant, meant to have this spiritual thing happening to you, man. All right? We are spiritual beings having an avatar experience. These bodies are not our real bodies, even though they're beautiful. They are. They're beautiful. And there's one. And there's many mysteries with these bodies. First of all, our bodies can produce DMT. Why does our body produce DMT? Think about that. Our body had to be construct for us to produce DMT. So we can actually physically, in, in, in a way spiritual, in, in a way spiritually too, to connect, to connect to higher realms of consciousness, to be in the spiritual realm. Try to tell a scientist that. Some of them won't even want to talk to you about it. Some of them will probably say that's pseudoscience. Some of them won't even probably won't even. Say anything to you. But these are the questions that we need to like think of, you know, and maybe answer. Because some of them, most likely, they do have answers. You know, not everything in the universe I've learned that don't really have answers. Because it just is. Like, evil and good. Like, why is this so evil and good? It's just like, it's just, no, it's just what is. It's just what is. You you choose what do you want? Do you want to be good? Do you want to be bad? Do you want to be neutral? It's literally your decision. That's the that that's one of the things in the universe that's not the universe doesn't force you to be what you want to be. The you do what you want to do. You know? If you destroying the planet, then you destroying the planet. If you're not, you're not. But there are consequences to things that you are doing because there are rules in the galactic realms. Basically, there's rules, and trust me, we broken those rules. 
as carbon based people, as spiritual people, we 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 broken those people, we broken those rules before, but not as much as these evil beings have. Okay, for crying out loud, they made a galactic freaking marketing of a Junochrome, man. People think that it's just in this planet. Then when you tell people that, no, it's not also in this planet, it's in other planets all like this, people are going to be like, what? And I'm like, yeah, you think we're the only ones? Uh, we'll... Most people are like, then why we then why does everyone act where the where the center of the universe is? Because we're the god planet. That's the, that's the most disturbing thing that the god planet went down to the low frequency. You think no big high extraterrestrial beings are not going to pay attention to that? You think the universe is not going to pay attention pay attention to that? You think the Lord is not going to pay attention to that? Because all of that shit has to do something because they were part of all of that creating. And it fell, and they saw all of that shit happen. And they knew it was going to happen, but they let it happen. Because we were supposed to grow. And some of us knew that that shit was going to happen, and we, we let it happen. Other was other ones were trying to prevent it. That's why you get some of the giants trying to prevent other stuff happening. of Like, the flood, basically. But it's like, it doesn't matter. It's going to happen. You know? It doesn't matter if it was a good giant or a bad giant. There, some of them were trying to prevent it because they just... They, they were like, we're sorry we fucked up. And it's like... Sorry, now these evil beings here are staying, and well, look what's happening now. You know, they, they fucked up a lot of shit too. You know, because there were certain people on this planet that were connecting to evil deities, right? And the evil deities from up there were trying to have the agenda to come down over here. So that person that they were trying to possess in a way, but in it's almost like. And you know the whole thing with Emperor Palpatine recruiting Luke? It's almost like that, but less stupid. <laughs> you know, if you watch the whole thing about that, you know, in Star Wars on um, episode three. But it, it, it that's how it kind of ended up in a way. So, again, those Star Wars movies do tell all. They tell us about our history, man. You know, so does the movie Avatar tell us about our history. A lot of these movies and a lot of video games tell us about our history, and they have to. They have to tell us about our history. If they don't, then automatically, all of those shit that they want to do will be gone. Will be for nothing. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? Can you really sink that in too? They have to tell us the truth a little bit, enough for their power to still be on float. Because if they didn't tell that they were around, guess what will happen? Hey guys, they're around. What? Oh, oh, woke up right away. Their systems fought and all that shit. Most people are like, I don't think that would have happened. I'm like, I think it would have. Because we couldn't stay dumbed down for long, especially our carbon based people. I'm sorry. You, you think we were going to stay low, low down? And not come back to what we were. That's a that's some bullshit right there. That's some bullshit. Okay, you mean to tell me that hey, we used to be gods and goddesses, we're still all, but we used to be what you see in Egypt and what you see in Samaria, and then we fell, and you suspect us not us to go back to that once we remember or once we hope we go high in frequency or when it's time. It sounds like you don't want to go back to it because you don't want things to change. It sounds like you're scared because you think and you feel of what was back in the old days. There's nothing to feel. Because obviously, what? They're going to tell you everything was just a waste, waste desert of a land and nothing, no buildings or nothing like that? Yet there was pyramids. And then also around the 1800s, there were buildings anyways. So look this up. Most people are like, yeah, the 1800s. And have you noticed some of these buildings around you all were built around the 1800s? Why? Why? 
I live in Holland, Massachusetts, and this place is old. This is one of the 13 colonies, original, original 13 colonies, you know, even though we've always been here. But you see some of these buildings around here, and they from the 1800s, and you'd be like, or 1700s, and you'd be like, huh, what happened, what, what happened before that, you know? Sorry. And you look more in your history and you find out that carbon-based people were fucked over in this planet and still getting fucked over to this day. So don't worry, it's going to end. It's already end. It's already end anyways, but the final climax is about to immense. It's about to boil you the fuck up, you know? I feel it, you feel it, even if you don't really feel it, feel it, subconsciously, you know. You know you feel it. You might feel it sometimes when you're just having that, you know, the 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 out of your body experience moment, you know? That happens sometimes. And when that does happen, you'll be like you, in a way you might start crying. Cause you'd be like what do I have to do now? Just wait. The energies are coming in. We did our job. We did our job. I'm not saying stop meditating and everything like that. You know, I've said this before, but we've done our job. We bought th these planet alignments together and the universe also helped with that also. You know, the universe was basically like, and the planet was like, oh, you, you meditating? Oh, okay. So she's moving things along. Because she wants shit to wrap up too. Really, she does. That's why the planet started heating up back in the 80s. It's probably started doing that since the 60s probably. They just didn't want to tell you until the 80s. You know how sometimes they tell you, but they, it's been happening way before, you know? And the reason that that's happening is because the cooling leaning of the planet is, is rising and rising and rising. Meaning people are waking the fuck up. Why do you think during the 60s they're showing UFOs? They had no choice but to show you. And I'll bet you anything around the 60s, the reason that maybe they showed you that is because they thought it was it. They thought it was it that year, my, that decade probably. They probably thought it was it. You know what? I wouldn't I wouldn't argue if someone told me, yo, did you know around the 60s the shit was about to end and it didn't? I would have been like, you know what? I wouldn't be surprised because if you look around with the, how the 60s was, was in a way structured... You kind of you kind of see how it was, and you'd be like, "Yes, it was a simpler time, but at the same time, it was a mind structure." For you, when you look at it from another perspective, and you're like, "This is the mindset that they actually want us to be in." But that type of mindset fell around the '90s in a way, you know. And then when 2000s happened, it just became something different, and no one doesn't give a fuck about what there's, you know, the '50s and '60s and '70s and '80s and some of the '90s were, you know. The, the the subum type of living that people want to live in, you know. Yeah, some people have that mindset, but it's a broken mindset, man. It is. It's a oh, it, you know that old, you know that beautiful house with a beautiful wife, with a picket fence, with a fucking dog. That's 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 bullshit. That's a lie. It's always been a lie. Just like the educational system is, and everything. Everything's a lie. All the things that they try to tell you is a fucking lie, and yet they say that no, this is true. You could do it. Yet when you try to get to the top. You get dumbed down because, oh, either because you're Corbin or because, hey, you're not them, boo-boo. You don't have the money, so you're not going to have shit. People try to go to the top where the top people are. But the top people tell them, you want to do that? Oh, well, you have to do this. Oh, you don't want to? Then you can't come down here, bitch. Oh, wait, you found out. Let me kill you. Dude, there's my Nagas and my Niginis, man. We understand and understand that this shit is fucked up and this shit is going to end and we are going to stop this. We're going to stop this. And why, why aren't we right now? We are. Just patience. Look, I know you guys, being spiritual and all that, it's all about patience. And I understand and understand that you, some of you people can't be patient. I am the most impatient person in the entire galaxy. 
So don't tell me, don't tell me you're impatient, okay? Because you're looking at the most unpatient person in the whole fucking galaxy. I'm, I'm dead serious. I'm not fucking lying to you when you're saying, when, you, when I'm saying this, okay? That's why in other higher realms, they know me and they can't tell me what's going to happen because I just, I would go to that timeline already and now I'm fucking like witness through the steps. I could do that. I witnessed doing that and I've discussed it on my, on my channel before. The whole orange thing, yeah, that's in a way a part of that. If you looked at the video of me talking about the orange peel and then I ate it and then all of a sudden I told my grandparents, hey, is there another one? And they're like, what are you talking about? You know, ate an orange and I'm just like, the fuck? Almost like a Mandela effect, you know? And I'm just like, what the fuck are you talking about? Ate that orange? You know, it was literally, what, what color was it? It was about... You know how your um, PlayStation controller lights up when you're charging and has that um, orange lead color? It looked like that, you know? And I'm just like, I must have ate some type of fruit that was ancient as all hell, some spiritual fruit. I don't know, man. Because the, the, the best thing about the spiritual stuff that I really love and really, really enjoy, and this is how I know I'm really in tune with myself, and this is how I know I'm on the right path, is that experiences, man. If you don't have these experiences, then you don't really know. You know, people have different experiences, you know, obviously. But when it comes to a, spir a spiritual experience, you will know that, oh shit, I'm out of here. This shit is ending. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking out of here. And the universe is going to give you type of mindset soon remember we all going to remember our past lives soon and a lot of people say this look some people say this what if what you say does not happen at all because you say this shit is supposed to end permanently well guess what's going to happen if we don't get these quote unquote superpowers basically even though it belongs to us anyways, is we already have it. its own junk DNA, we can unlock them anyways right now. But the fact of the matter is that if the solar flare does not happen, basically, guess what? We're going to have to fight old school style. Okay? You're going to have to feel the pain instead of not feeling it. You understand and overstand? Like, basically, you might have to drag your fucking... Caucus broken leg, basically, if, if if shit comes to that. And it's like, I don't know why. And it's like, yeah, it's, we, so we was not supposed to go through that. We're still not to. We're still not supposed to, obviously. Because when you think about all these energies that are coming in and then, quote unquote, these activating abilities are going to happen, then obviously, you're not going to... You're not going to, don't know where you feel that if you feel like a, a fucking, why do you think these evil beings are fucking scared of us? We kind of like we can look at them and make them melt in front of them and, and they, they will fucking die right in front of us. That's how powerful we are. We literally can look at them and they, we can look them dead in the eye and they will literally melt. Just melt. That's how powerful we are, people. It's all about the mindset. It is. Because that's how this matrix is. It's, and that's how, in a way, it's also pure imagination. They don't want you to be imaginated. Imagination is so key in this universe. You have no idea. It is unfathomed that some people think imagination is just, just for kids. And then you just leave it as for children. And then when you're an adult... Shut the fuck up and do some paperwork. Okay. Okay. And then you depress us fucking drinking a beer, right? No, I'm not depressed and drinking a beer. But yet you're still drinking a beer. There's something in your psyche. They're not coping. How do you know? Because I went through this. Don't tell me that. Oh, that's why a lot of people say too. Oh, how do you know this? How do you know that? Because I went through it. I want to be saying if I didn't went through it. This is a person that went through sometimes a lot of fucked up shit. 
I mean, sometimes it's my fault. Other times it wasn't. It was just my um stupid. Sometimes yes, my fault of a stupid decision. But sometimes uh, other times it's for the universe to teach me a lesson to be like you. You see that? You know, it's like you. You're right. You know. So. And things are just there for the universe to put us to challenge us to. You know. And sometimes it's good to have a challenge that if we can succeed with that challenge, you know how much, you, that's how much, the universe is trying to literally tell us, if you can pass this, you just told yourself, and I already knew this, that you are strong than what you thought you are. And then when you have that in your mind, it finally, it finally dawns on you, it finally clicks on you that these evil beings are pussies. They want to fuck the original cosmic serpent. They want to fuck up with the original dragons. They want to fuck up with the original angels. I know you're mad. I know you're a psychopath. But there's a level of psychopath and madness you can go. And what you did, you evil beings, is unforgivable. Unforgivable. There's, there's literally galactic people, galactic beings that have seen what you've done. And they know what's going to happen to you. And they... The, they say, yeah, it's it. you deserve it. They have no sympathy for you at all. They try to tell you, and yet you don't listen. And you, when you do it, and you start begging and saying that, oh, can you forgive us? And we say no, you go around bitching. You go around fucking like, like what, like a five-year-old? Pointing out fingers? Blaming people? Bl having the blame game, basically? Instead of growing up and being like, yeah, I did this. I fucked this up. Here, you, you guys can take this back. We could pay for our punishment. They had, a, they had that decision at one point. At one point, they did. That was their last decision, by the way. It was a long time ago. I think 2018, maybe before that. They had a decision for them to end this. And guess what? They laughed at they la they got laughed at. The people that told them, hey, this is this is this is it. You have you find a decision. They got laughed at. And they left. They're like, okay, you can laugh. But once we come back, guess what? This is over. You're fucked. And they're here now. Why well, you think there's a wall right now? They're shooting up in the sky and shit. So I'll see you guys later. Be safe. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and tell me what you guys think.